Hello everybody, welcome to the next episode of Rules. Yeah, today we're on the map Strongholds. This is going to be the next 1v1 from the little series I'm doing. Yeah, I would say let's look at the map a little bit first, then we'll look at the teams and then we'll go in the game. Okay, the map Stronghold. Um, yeah, what you see here is the main sector, is this big one back here. Inside of that sector you got two supply dumps. And your headquarters. It's pretty big. To, it's a pretty big sector. So with the camouflage net, you can secure two supply depots right away. Yeah. Also, on the left side, we got a very long sector. This really big one here, along the road. Two supply dumps on that side. Then we got a sector here. Also, we got a sector here in the front. This one. This big one here. This one. Yeah. Over here, same thing. Long sector. This one. Big one headquarters. Uh, right, and back here we got a big sector also. Yeah. About this map, very interesting. Um, you got lots of roads along the sides. This one, this one. There's cities everywhere here where you can hide infantry in and secure the sides. Also on this side, same thing. Two cities here, two roads around the sides. Yeah, in the middle we got one big road. Also in the middle we got lots of woods here. Cities here, here, woods and everything. Yeah, here are these two castles. So you can do a lot of sneak around stuff here. You can also do bombing runs from the sides. But you can yeah, try to build a barracks here early. Get some infantry out. Go in with um, radio silence. So you can do a lot of sneaky stuff because there's so many roads here. Yeah. And also what I think you can work a lot with your infantry on this map. Because... See, because there's castles here and stuff like that, you can have infantry in here, pump it out this way fast with blitz. I don't know, maybe these are even woods where you can hide stuff in? No, I don't think so. Yeah, so this the main stuff about the map here. I would say let's look at the teams and then we'll go in the game. So I'm playing here as the Italian. That's that what the randomizer gave me. My enemy is a Japan guy. Yeah. I would say let's start this one and see what's happening. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one on double speed. It's not the best replay. So I got Blitz in my sector here. Not using decryption yet. Enemy is using Blitz. Now I put some camouflage net. But still, I'm saving up my uh, second ruse for this supply depot that's going over here. So I'm taking one, two, three supply depots. And I'm putting a barracks in the front. Because at first, I want to pump out some light infantry to different kinds of directions to split up his army that he's producing now yeah now I, I don't expect no planes fast that's why I put a camouflage net here that he doesn't see what I'm building here and what you shouldn't forget is light infantry from Italy is the same strength like Konoa I didn't know that before so they're exactly the same strengths like Konoa so why research now you don't have to got the same infantry like he has yeah and I think at the same time I'm planning something else now yeah these infantry guys are just to distract his army and force him to maybe build something against it but at the same time I'm getting an airfield I want to have some bombers pretty soon yeah I still can't see nothing from him don't know what he's doing I think there's probably a recon in the stack somewhere yeah there he is Yeah, this is a cool sector. Now I can put Blitz in here. Pump these guys to the supply depot. I want to take it down fast. And these two guys are going somewhere back here. In case he takes this supply dump so I can take it out. Yeah, and the recon here in the middle is trying to move up to see maybe if he builds some stuff in front. Yeah, I'm still researching bombers. It takes very long. Yeah, I still can't see nothing what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing now. Yeah, now I see... Uh oh what's this? Uh, bomber. Not good. Yeah, I tried to split him up a little bit. I uh, couldn't see it. So I got lucky one guy survived. He's blinking now, but I'm putting on fanatism now. Because I want to take down the supply depot for sure. So he's going to try to take down this. Now I see with this infantry... Oh, he's got a, a, an anti-tank base here. 
Let's look at this real fast. See, we got Kanoa. They're pretty strong for light infantry. 33-40. For example, 38 against armor 3. But mine are the same. 38, armor 3, 33, 40. That means why research now already if you got the same infantry like your enemy has. Yeah, I took down the supply depot because I put fanatism on. Now my bombers are ready. Yeah, now I'm thinking why not take down the anti-tank base if you got a bomber anyway. But the Japan guy also got Renzan. Yeah, now I'm trying to take down these infantry guys. But I think now... Yeah, now I'm getting out uh, some fighters against the bomber. He's coming in to take down my barracks. He's gonna take it down. Now comes a very interesting thing. This is a Renzan. This is a fighter. I know the fighter's not the best, the non-researched kind, but look what happens with the fighter while he attacks the Renzan. He's being shot at. See? Renzan is able to um, disable my fighter. Very interesting. Because his uh, shots back are pretty strong. Let's look how, how strong is he. 36 against planes. Very nasty. So I couldn't even take down the bomber. Okay, now the Japan guy is reacting with zero. Nice reaction. Zeros are definitely better than mine. 31. Mine have 27. 30, 630 kilometers. How fast are these? Faster. 720. Yeah, so now back here I see no supply dump is there. So now I think, okay, I think, uh-oh, the Japan guy is getting zeros. So I better put my planes on the airfield first and try to do something else maybe. Okay, comes a bomber to take down my light infantry here. Yeah, back here I didn't micro good. My recon's being taken down now. Yeah, and that's the problem. If you move your units, then the bomber's gonna have problems to hit you. See? Didn't even take down one of them. Yeah, so now I'm putting down my planes on the airfield first. Exactly. Because the enemy... Uh, Japan has a little problem with fighter bombers. And because I see, I've seen he invested a lot of his money into getting planes and everything, I thought myself, yeah, why don't you get one or two tanks out, just drive towards his base, so he has to react on my tanks, and maybe he's gonna research the um, fighter bombers, but we'll see if he gets some, they're not the best. These two infantry guys are sneaking by to maybe take, to maybe take down this supply depot. Okay, nice job. He's attacking my planes. But I microed pretty good, I think, because I didn't lose the one plane at all. Yeah, now I'm getting my bombers up, but I see... Uh-oh. Zero's coming. Put him back on the airfield. Yeah, and back here, I don't... I think he didn't see this, but I took down the supply depot now. Okay, bomber comes to take my infantry down. Nice job. Yeah, so now here comes my tank. Ah, oh, right. No, no, okay. I just... I built the armor base to get recon later, but this tank, I just pumped it out to keep him focused on my tank, maybe. And at the same time, I got myself a prototype base, and I'm researching Contra Aero now. Because in the long run, I want to have a ground troop to go in with my Contra Aero and stuff like that. So this tank's just to distract him a little bit. Nice job. He, he b instantly builds his supply depot again. Why lose time with that? He, got, he put an AA bunker. Okay, now his zeros are incoming. Okay. Now comes the recon, very nasty. Zero sniped my plane on the airfield, okay, but now I got my counter air finished, that's good. But I'm not microing it right, I should have microed on the recon very fast. Yeah, so now comes bomber. Take down my airfield, nice job. I built my first admin at the same time. Yeah, so now I lost my airfield. Yeah, 
big problem. But the good thing is, very lucky my prototype base survived. So now I can get counter arrow, P26 and everything out. My tank's still moving up, waiting for the enemy to react, and I think he does now. See? <laughs> the fighter bomber Zuise, how much do they cost? 30 bucks. And they don't even take down the armor 2 with one shot, you need two of them, and they're so expensive. Um, so that's what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to react with fighter bombers. Yeah, so not what I'm gonna try now is... I'm gonna try to escort my bomber that's left. Have him flying over my ground troops. So maybe the, the planes approach him. And then, because if you look at the enemy's view, all he sees now is tanks coming out. I don't think he expects expect him to be counter arrow. That's why if he tries to attack my bomber over him, the planes are gonna be taken out. That's what I was gonna do now. Yeah, I'm just getting a few um, counter arrow, a few P26, a recon here. Yeah, this one is going for a supply depot, but yeah. Okay. So now I'm formating this troop here. And then I'm going to try to go in a little bit, see how he reacts. Yeah, same time I build another admin. Yeah, normally I, you build your buildings in the front. But this time, yeah, I thought, why not have a prototype base? Okay, now zeros are attacking, but now they find out, uh-oh, these are no tanks, these are Area A tanks. So that's why I lost a few planes. But that's what I was gonna do. So now, very important, let's look at this. I oh, know you can see, yeah. This recon here can see my units. That means um, his Zuise can shoot at him now. But I don't want that to happen because I think exactly counter error or armor one, and his guy does 110% against armor one, so he can snipe my AA tanks and my uh, recon with one shot. I don't want that to happen. That's why I'm gonna use my bomber that's left to take down the recon, so he can't see me anymore. See, now he can't see me anymore, and now his fighter bomber can attack. Yeah, so this troop's going into harass. Here comes a counter air in case some kind of paratrooper stuff happens back here. Don't want to be surprised. Here's an AA bunker. Won't do nothing against my tanks. Okay, he reacted with a AT base. And yeah, I like these small little guys. Horu, not that bad. Um, okay, armor 4, they don't do much, but they only cost 10. They're pretty fast. Got armor 2 yourself. Not that bad if you get a few of them out. But I got P26, which is a big problem for him. Yeah, here comes some uh, AT guns. They're doing something here now. These are pretty good against mine. Oh, they're not that good either. Right, 12 against armor 4. Yeah, now comes some fighter bombers also, but they're gonna die because I got two counter arrow left. Yeah, I moved up my P26 into a machine gun range so they can snipe these guys while they're shooting at him with machine guns. Yeah, I'm just trying to make as much damage as I can up here. Trying to take down some supply depots. Next fighter bomber came, but they're dying. That's the problem. And they can't take me down. Next Horu coming. Yeah, the prototype. I like the prototype base from Italy. Pretty strong. Because these guys only cost 25 bucks, but they got the armor 4. Recon located from the armor base. But Contra Arrow are the nastiest AA guns together with um, Rebel Wind and Skink. And here comes some more Horu now. He's pumping out some little infantry. So I'm just standing here to take down as much as I can, and at the same time, I'm probably doing something in the back. I'll see what I'm doing pretty soon. Yeah, see, two Contra Arrow mess up planes very easy. Ok, 
Okay, so now he's sniping me from two sides with his Horu. I'm gonna lose this guy. That's why I'm sneaking in my recon back here. So hopefully he doesn't see this one. Okay. And this meanwhile, yeah, back here I built myself another airfield. I got another admin. And I still got a recon in his base. Alright, I think I'm getting a... Yeah, I'm getting a second airfield. Because now, because he, re he reacted on my tanks and everything, I want to get some planes out, have some bombers. I think also I'm going to research the advanced fighters now, because I want to have a chance against his zero stuff. Right. While I'm researching and building a, a um, building new planes, I'm pumping out the next troop. That he sees. Uh oh, some more tanks coming, but I'm not using P26 now. I'm only using um, M13. I just want to ha want him to see tanks coming by, so he maybe reacts on more tanks. But my main attack force is going to be a, um, planes. Yeah, one contra air on there. Yeah, so now I got advanced fighters. That's gonna help me a lot because um, let's look at the zeros. Thirty-one against planes and mine. Forty-one against planes. So now I got better planes. That's very important. How fast are they? Yeah, same speed like zeros. So now I can mess up his planes. Okay, while I was attacking with this plane, I saw uh oh air transports coming here. So it was pretty lucky that my plane followed it in, because he puts radio silence in this sector. But now I know there's, there's going to be paratroopers coming in. Yes, there they are. Here comes probably a zero to intercept my planes. Yeah, so he, he managed to let one paratrooper survive, but I got counter error here. So now I'm gonna approach the um, to bomb a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I, I put two planes on this because I wanted to have this truck for sure. Yeah, okay, one would have been enough already. I'm gonna take down this uh, A position. Now I'm moving up my uh, stack here to have my counter arrow uh, standing somewhere here to take down planes. Also, I want to snipe the infantry in here a little bit. Yeah, this one's over. Now I'm pumping out uh, planes to the left side all the time so I can um, escort my bomber soon. Yeah, okay, he sees that. Yeah, just a short one for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And then I would say, yeah, tomorrow, Sunday, is going to be the um, game time. We're gonna have some fun, play a little bit. So if you wanna come, just feel free to join us. It doesn't matter how good you are. Um, it would be nice if you could maybe just send me a message on Steam if you are if you arrive to play. Um, but don't send me a message that's 10 after each other or something like that because while I'm in the game, I can't um, answer right away. But I'll answer everybody. I'll try to have everybody play and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. I would say see you tomorrow. Bye bye.